it's, it's just that that frustration is do, did we have it do we do we have it it's yeah. Are we spreading it? Stephen Dutra and his wife, Filene, in Sacramento have been struggling to find anyone that will test them for coronavirus. If you don't have symptoms, you don't get tested. Neither of them are showing any symptoms, meaning they fall under Tier 4. But they'd like to get tested since their adult kids fall under Tier 3, working in the service industry consistently around other people every day. I don't know about being prioritized higher, I just wish that there was more tests available. So they've gone into a precautionary self-quarantine just to be safe. A familiar story for Angela Haggerty. We're not seeing anybody until we actually get on that plane. She's been planning a 12-day prepaid trip to Alaska with nine people for a year and a half now. But the state is requiring travelers to show up with proof of a qualifying negative test, or else you'll have to get tested upon arrival and self-quarantine for 14 days. If we had to quarantine for, you know, the entire trip, obviously we wouldn't go. She says the trip is worth it, so she's happy to comply with the state's rules. The only problem? Finding someone who will test her here. And we're finding that most of the physicians are not authorized, authorizing a test, regardless of the fact that they know that it's a requirement for us to fly. She's considering paying out of pocket for an at-home test kit, but is still running into the issue of her results being delayed, just like everyone else. You know, they're getting longer and longer as we're getting closer and closer to our trip. So that's, you know, very scary for us.